in this video, we're going to have a look at the zoom command inside of AutoCAD. So first off, we're going to type zoom and you'll see all of the options available. The first one we're going to use is the all command. Now the all command actually zooms to the outside of your limits that you've set in your file. So here we're going to set up some limits. And if we then zoom into the drawing and type in zoom and then choose all, it'll go to the new limits. Next up, we type in zoom and we're going to use the center command. So what this does is we choose the center of what we'd like to look at and then a scale factor. So here we're putting in 10 and it takes us to the middle of this volume knob. Next, we're going to repeat the process roughly using the same center. And this time we're going to set the scale factor to 20. Okay, moving on. We type in zoom again, and now we're going to look at dynamic zoom. You can see a little green box come up and that's our previous zoom area. Now we can reuse that zoom by just right clicking anywhere and it'll use the same zoom factor that we had before. If we repeat the process, however, we can now set a size of the box that we want and then we can right click anywhere to activate that zoom size. So next up, if we type in zoom, the next option is extents. This zooms to the maximum extents of your drawing or the outside of all of the objects inside of your drawing. Next up, we have previous, which will take us to any of our previous views that we'd cycled through before. You'll see I'm using the shortcut key Z enter and P enter to use this. Next up, we're going to look at zoom to scale. So we type in zoom and then we click on scale or hit S on the keyboard and we enter a scale factor. So if we type in 0.5, it takes us to half our current scale. And if we repeat the process and type in two, it zooms in. Zooming to a window is really straightforward. We choose the window size we'd like, and the software zooms us to the extents of the window selection we've just made. Zoom object is really easy. If we click on an object, it'll zoom us to the extents of that object. Zoom real time is the last option in the zoom command. Enabling this allows you to zoom in and out by moving your mouse up and down with the left mouse button clicked. Remember that all of these zoom commands are available from the handy drop down on the right hand side underneath the current zoom selection. Thank you.